Welcome back to VTOP10 in today's video we're counting down the top 10 Jorge El Marimero Pius best knockouts. Number 10. Jorge Pius vs Alan Makatoki. On October 23, 1989 at Great Western Forum, Inglewood, California, Jorge Pius beat Alan Makatoki by TKO in round 6 of 10. Feels good when I get hit. Oh wow. Is he fast? Is he fast? He has ever fought at the Great Western Forum. His dad's circus. <laughs> I like he it. hit him with both hands along each ear. Chopping right hand. Wow. This guy. That's a lot of weight. Yep. He's. He is very. Round one is winding down to the records, the numbers that are furnished us. His opponent, Makatoki, is knocked out to 30. There it is. And I don't even have a script. <laughs> His name is spelled P-A-E-Z. Pronounced like a P-I-U-S. Dual 10-rounder. This is a non-title bout. Otherwise, it would be 12. Three years of age is pious. Wow. Seven years of age is. That's the end of the round. Here comes Dr. Robert Kearns in the ring. Okay. The fight is over. It's Number nine, Jorge Pius versus Eric Madrid. On September 13, 1993 at Great Western Forum, Inglewood, California, Jorge Pius beat Eric Madrid by TKO in round 4 of 10. Number 8. Jorge Pius vs. Juan Angel Macias 2. On September 28, 2002 at Arrowhead Pond, Anaheim, California, Jorge Pius beat Juan Angel Macias by TKO in round 8 of 10. Macias with the right hand upstairs. Oh yeah. For 15 rounds with 120 degrees in the room. Then go to the body again. We're in round number 3 here, scheduled for 10. And he, and lately in his fights, he has been having problems with his uh, cuts. Versus. Just to let everybody know, that there was a headbutt that opened the cut so that if it should go to the car, that's the decision. I don't see any cut. Any punches up, punches up. I didn't either, but they've been... And increasingly in the... Uh, in the... Arriba, Jorge, arriba, punches up. No, left, right. No? That's what I asked him yesterday. Do you feel that you're avoiding punches? He says he does. Well, but Pat's got a great sense of humor. And Pat looked over and had a kind of a habit. Guys, I would have to see how the 36-year-old leg stood up. Too many times he lets himself get stationary time. Right there. He takes <laughs> I tell you. He went on forward in the attack. We it's scheduled for 10. Well, I tell you, that is some left hand he's still got. That's right hand. I tell you one of his best fights was against Cornell Whitaker. <laughs> I'm sure. He had very problems all year. It was a low blow and we 
changing again, but we'll check it in a moment. Oh, Macias! Hey. Now don't come time. Let's go. This guy's wobbly. They should not be there. He shouldn't be left. Oh, boy. I think he's No, he's, uh, he's done. Macias is done. One good fling shot, he's going down, and he'll be out. And I tell you, the guy is hurt and knows how to finish him off. And he's got Macias in Macias' corner. Ten seconds left. Number 7. Jorge Pius vs. Tom Johnson. On February 22, 2002 at Palace Indian Gaming Center, Lemoor, California, Jorge Pius beat Tom Johnson by TKO in round 2 of 10. Number 6. Jorge Pius vs. Roger Bonine. On July 17, 1992 at Great Western Forum, Inglewood, California, Jorge Pius beat Roger Bonine by knockout in round 1 of 10. Number 5. Jorge Pius vs. Ramon Felix. On March 13, 1993 at Hilton Hotel, Las Vegas, Nevada, Jorge Pius beat Ramon Felix by TKO in round 8 of 10. And of course we know Pius, former featherweight champion, moving up in weight as well. I last saw uh, Pius when he fought uh, Rafael Ruelas. And, oh, it was a great fight, and um, Ruelas uh, deserves all the credit in the world. It was the biggest fight of his young career. Yeah, traditionally, Pius has been hit with is the lead right hand. They say he's got a pretty good chin and a fair punch. TV crews and boxers at Troy Dorsey box the uh, first uh, through the first two rounds. And he gets explanation. Open to cut. Corner of the right eye of Pius. Oh, sometimes will turn his most rabid fans off with antics like you've seen on Al Bernstein and yeah. uh, bobbing and weaving, treating Felix with the little. Not come here to just be an opponent. He has really taken the fight to Pius, but Pius's power now is taking control. Fighting back and Pius in a flurry of punches. Those guys that, when he tries to be too serious, it's really going to throw him off. Literally, I think that's so much. Of well, maybe because his skills are considerable and sometimes it's I guess when you're when you're natural at something sometimes the temptation is not to work as surprised that Felix is still out here for the sixth round or well you Ramon keep him up solid 
combination by Paez, but I think it's um, attrition. There's the mouthpiece knocked out. And, he's and your point gets proven yes. here, Tom, because all the punch. Again, a flurry of punches by Paez, as if to say to Gibson, the referee, this guy's taking too much punishment. And I tell you, feels with the left, throws out a weak right. Paez lands a left and a right, solid, as he uh, threatens the bolo shot. Oh, solid shots there, Al. And a left hand. Phoenix is in trouble. And Paez says, uh, Gibson, don't you want to stop this? And there it is. So he stopped it himself. Number four, Jorge Paez versus Narciso Valenzuela. On August 17, 1996 at Caesars Tahoe, State Line, Nevada, Jorge Paez beat Narciso Valenzuela by knockout in round 3 of 12 and one vacant WBC Continental America Super Featherweight title. Well, the last, last year, also I'd say at the end of 94 years later, but also a draw with Gregorio Vargas, Vargas I should say, but actually beats Eduardo Perez in 94 for the title to Jose Manjanas, he won it again. He's wearing the uh, black skirt. So two Mexicans then contesting this WBC title. He's a journeyman fighter, that's for sure now anyway. But he's seven. So the circus. I mean, that's uh, to yes. A nice body punch then from Paez. Looks like he took a... He's come here as the opponent. A well, nice combination. Both men turn pro, by the way, back in by Paez. And a good left hook as well. Nice rhythm here by Jorge Paez. Up lovely uppercut as well again there from Paez. Oh, good Whoops. shot, I don't think. He cast that right yeah. at some It's see. all over. So, Valenzuela then counts. Number 3. Jorge Pius versus Juan Polo Perez. On November 14, 1998 at County Coliseum, El Paso, Texas, Jorge Pius beat Juan Polo Perez by knockout in round 2 of 12 and one vacant IBA America Super Featherweight title. El Colombiano. Aquí viene Maromero, tira a la izquierda, se tomaba el ojo derecho el Maromero, se ha perdido ahora, viene arriba Polo Pérez, vamos a ver, alguna vez se dijo más ruido que nueces, muy valiente también, creo que el espectáculo a todo nivel está asegurado. La tijera para, para el corte de Pérez, aquí viene arriba Maromero, tiene una izquierda muy dura, otra más, una mano difícil, mano muy dura que le quitó el aire por un instante al Polo Pérez, cuidado, Está trabajando bien Polo Pérez, un hombre muy duro, muy valiente, que derecha, eh. Oh. Tremenda, plena, plena la mano del Maromero Páez sobre el actar. La pelea es durísima desde el comienzo. Te... Y deja a un lado las payasadas, es un muy buen boxeador estilo, como variar su ataque para llegar a Paco. Da la impresión de que el Maromero quiere liquidar este pleito antes de los dos cerrados. Está poniendo toda la carne en el lanzador, está trabajando abajo. ¡Oh! ¡Lo tomó! ¡Corteo! ¡Está el corteo! ¡Terminó! Number 2. Jorge Pius vs. Lupe Gutierrez. On December 9, 1989 at Lawler Events Center, Reno, Nevada, defending IBF featherweight title Jorge Pius beat Lupe Gutierrez by TKO in round 6 of 12. Oh, 
on my scorecard. Scoring on the 10-point must system handled by the, the three judges. That left hand by Pius grazing Gucci. Oh, good combination by Pius stepping it up. By knockout, his two losses, both early in his career. Six rounds, which is starting to trickle blood. He looked right over in his corner like saying, oh, boy, that one hurt. Oh, triple the lacing. Oh, oh left hand by Paez. The indication that Paez is getting the uh, lacing into the... It didn't help that no. Oh, there goes Gutierrez. Oh, Paez coming right after Gutierrez. Gutierrez attempting to hold Paez on. Just been shoved around the ring. I don't know what he's waiting for. There it is. That's the end. That's the end. That should have been the end. He had no business. Number one. Jorge Pius versus Calvin Grove 2. On March 30, 1989, at Plaza de Toros Calafia, Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico, defending IBF featherweight title Jorge Pius beat Calvin Grove by TKO in round 11 of 12. He's still playing a little with Grove, which you know Grove uh, doesn't appreciate. Be effective against Pius to go to the body. For and now some weak hand. And again, right hand. And Grove has a cut every time that Pius comes into it. Again, a step backwards. Can he get caught up on with their champion? Coming down to 30 seconds. 9.9%, .9%, but they don't score. Oh. In Mexicali. A slap. By Paez. And that hurt Grove right underneath that. Down as Paez uh, shakes it off. Ninth round action. And Sean, you gave that last. Good right hand. He planted that back foot, set that power, and then he threw the right hand. And he's trying to slow down Calvin Grove. Grove moving. By Paez and Grove is hurt. He's on his bicycle. Apologizing to his corner. 30 seconds still remain. Paez, the bull, closing in on the Matador. Right eye of Grove here in round 10. And there again is the slap by Paez. 11 to survive. Does he have it in him? Look at his legs wobbling. Wobbly legs of Calvin Grove. Round 11. Down. Giving Calvin Grove extra seconds. He will not make it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.